Hey guys, welcome back to the Chemistry 1032 instructional video. I am your host, Dr. Russell Betts, and I'll be guiding you through Chapter 6.6, Polysaccharides. First thing you need to learn about polysaccharides, amylose, amylopectin. Write those words down. Amylose and amylopectin are storage molecules for glucose. We commonly refer to them as starch. Okay? We commonly refer to them as starch, and all it is is a bunch of glucose molecules bonded together. Okay? Pretty neat, huh? Starch is a mixture of both amylose and amylopectin. Okay? Now, amylose is between 250 and 4,000 glucose molecules. So it's all glucose bonded together. Alpha. Alpha glycosidic bonds bond the glucoses together. And it forms long chains of amylose. And those amylose will tend to coil around themselves like a spring. Like a, think of a, a phone cord from the old school phones that mounted on the wall. Those curly Q phones, cords. That's what they kind of look like. They just curl around and around and around. That's what amylose sort of looks like. But amylose is 250 to 4,000 D-glucose mo molecules all bonded together with alpha glycosidic bonds. Amylopectin is 80% of all plant starch, and it also contains our friend D-glucose. Again, all bonded alpha glycosidic bonds. Everybody's alpha. Everybody's alpha. That's pretty cool. Now, about every 25 glucose units, about every 25 glucose molecules, you're going to get what's called a branching point. And that branching point, another alpha bond will form, alpha glycosidic bond will form, and another whole row of, of glu uh, glucose will, will start to form right there. So what you're going to have is a branching molecule, a molecule that has amylose going this way, and then branch, and the amylose will go that way, then branch, and it'll go this way, and then branch over this way, then branch over that way. It's a very complicated molecule. It's huge, and it's just glucose after glucose after glucose after glucose being bonded together. Some in straight lines, some are branching off. It's really, really neat. Okay? Now, here's a fun fact. When we eat starch, our digestive system breaks it down to glucose. So eventually, this stuff all gets to glucose so that we can uh, use its energy for our bodies. And here's just a pictorial way of looking at amylose. Here it is right here. Notice it's one after another. It's one after another. One glucose, one glucose, one glucose, one glucose after another. All bonded alpha glycosidic bonds. All alpha glycosidic. Okay? This down here, this is amylopectin. Notice. You have a long line of, say, glucose here, and it branches off here, and then branches off there, and then goes up this way and branches off that way. Branches, branches, branches. Look, it's going that way now. It goes all this way and that way all of a sudden. And then all of a sudden it's going this way and that way. It's just, it's just really, really complicated. But again, they're all connected. They're all glucose. They're all alpha glycosidic bonds. Even though they're big and, and huge and, and they're really kind of, like, wow, they're big. Alpha glycosidic bonds cause this to happen. All right, guys? Now, here we go. Here's amylose. Here's amylopectin. Alpha glycosidic bond, alpha glycosidic bond, alpha glycosidic bond, alpha glycosidic bond, and so on. It'll just keep doing it. This is amylose. And there's that uh, kind of the curly cue I was telling you about right here with, amylo with amylose. This is amylopectin down here. Here's a bunch of glucose molecules going that way. And right here is a branching point where another set of glucose molecules is forming here, and it'll just keep going this way. And eventually it'll branch off, and it'll branch off, and that'll branch off, and that'll branch off. It's very, very complicated. But it's cool because nature has decided to make it look like this. It works. It stores glucose very efficiently. And... It's all alpha glycosidic bonds, okay? This is amylopectin. Amylose is the more simple version. Amylopectin is the more complicated version, but they're both really, really cool because they're both made of glucose, alpha glycosidic bonded. Glycogen. 
Glycogen is another storage molecule for glucose, but this molecule is found in animals, including humans. Okay? Glycogen is stored in your liver and in your muscles. Okay? So um, sugar is literally stored in your liver. And it's, it's more than likely there, and you have to ask an anatomist this to be sure, but it's more than likely there for quick digestion to keep the, the body you know, running smoothly with its sugar, because you absolutely have to have sugar to, to operate, right? Now, glycogen is hydrolyzed in the liver to maintain a constant glucose level in the blood when sugars are not being consumed, okay? So if you've had a, if you're on a diet, you're not eating a lot of sugar, the sugar in your, the, the glycogen in your body will get consumed to keep that sugar going at the, keep that sugar level at the right, at the right uh, level for your body to function. And that's what glycogen does. It stores sugar for later use. Cellulose, the last one we need to talk about. Now, cellulose contains beta glycosidic bonds. Contains beta glycosidic bonds. But look at this. Look, 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 look. Let me get a different color. Still made of glucose. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Amylose, amylopectin, glycogen, and cellulose all have glucose in it. Yes. But cellulose has beta glycosidic bonds where amylose, amylopectin, glycogen have alpha glycosidic bonds. That's interesting because... cannot digest cellulose it's plant fiber we can't digest it it's the fiber in our diet that we're told we have to we should eat a lot more of right it's the fiber interesting huh so it's but it's made of sugar but we can't digest it but we can digest amylose and amylopectin glycogen we can digest it easily actually it's no big deal hmm it must be oops it must be this. It has to be the beta glycosidic bond. The beta glycosidic bond, we don't have an enzyme to digest it. So we can't. We don't. We just pass it right on through. That's why it's called fiber. Isn't that interesting? That's pretty neat, huh? Amylose and amylopectin glycogen have alpha glycosidic bonds and we digest them all day long. Cellulose has a beta glycosidic bond and we can't digest it. And we call it plant fiber. I think that's pretty cool. So here we go. Here's our cellulose molecule. There's a beta glycosidic bond. There's a beta glycosidic bond making it non-digestible by humans. Isn't that cool, guys? So now, that's the end of Chapter 6. What I expect you to be able to do from here is I expect you to be able to identify uh, amylose, amylopectin, glycogen by sight. Um, identify cellulose by sight as well. Uh, be able to tell me uh, what amylopectin is, what amylose is, and what glycogen is, where you find them, what they're made of, what kind of bonds they have. And the same with cellulose. You should be able to tell me where you find it, what kind of bonds it has, uh, and why we can't digest it. Why can't we digest cellulose? And the answer is the beta glycosidic bond. We, we don't have an enzyme for it. Okay? These are the kind of things I would want you to know about polysaccharides. So that's the end of Chapter 6, guys. You made it. And uh, we'll move on to Chapter 7. So now I want to wish you good luck and good chemistry.